Hey guys, Melissa here with Lovable Loops. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to crochet a basket. The diameter of this basket is gonna end up being around seven inches and the height will be about 3.5 inches. For this tutorial, you need a J six millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need two strands of worsted weight yarn. You're gonna work with them held together. So either pick the same color or colors that look nice together. And then a complementary color of twine. I got this at Walmart, it was super cheap, and I also got a color that was a lot like this natural color here of the yarn. So I think these colors will look nice together. Okay, so this basket is worked in the round from the bottom up, and it really does not take very long to make, and it's pretty sturdy, so I'm very happy with how the design turned out. All right, to begin, you're gonna wanna go ahead and make a magic ring. By the way, I am using cotton yarn. It's um, peaches and cream cotton yarn. And I really like how the, um, I really like how the basket that I made, the texture that it has. So, all right, so we made a magic ring, chain one, and now you're going to make six single crochet. Because it does get a little confusing with where your stitches are, especially when you're working with two strands of yarn held together, I'm gonna be marking my stitches with a stitch marker. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that first stitch for myself so I can remember that is the first stitch of my round. So I'm gonna make five more single crochet. And go ahead and tighten up that magic ring if you need to. Okay, so three, four, five, and six. All right. Okay. Go ahead and tighten up your ring. And now what we're going to do is to end each round, you will join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of that round. Okay. So we need to join to this stitch over here. So what we do is take that stitch marker off. Um, and before I do that, I'm also going to be marking the last stitch of each round because when you join, sometimes it creates a loop that makes it look like there's another stitch and it can get confusing. So we're gonna avoid any confusion and just mark our stitches with these stitch markers. So this is the first stitch of the round here. You're gonna join with the slip stitch. So you just stick your hook through, grab that yarn, and then pull it all the way back through. Okay, so now we are ready to begin round two. For round two, you're gonna chain one, and in each stitch, you're going to make two single crochet. Your first two single crochet go into that same stitch that you joined to. Okay, now this right here was the first stitch of this round, so I'm gonna mark that with a stitch marker. Okay, so you can see now I have two single crochet in that single crochet from round one, okay? So go ahead and do that in the remaining stitches. You should end up with 12 stitches at the end of round two. Okay, and now I need to work my last two stitches into that stitch. So I had my stitch marker on the last stitch of the round. So I'm gonna work my last two stitches into this stitch here, one and two. And then I'm gonna replace my stitch marker so that it's on the last stitch of my round. And then I'm gonna count them. I should have 12. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, okay? So now um, I'm going to join with the slip stitch to end round two. Okay, for round three, you're going to chain one. In that same stitch that you joined two, you are going to make two single crochet. Okay, so we didn't increase there. 
two single crochet in that first stitch. You're going to put your stitch marker on that first stitch of the round. And in the next stitch, you're going to make one single crochet. So our pattern now is two, one, two, one. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, and then I'll have to remove my stitch marker to do my last stitch there. Okay. All right, replace that stitch marker. All right, and at the end of round three, we should have 18 stitches. Let's go ahead and count them. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, perfect. Okay, now once again, we're gonna join with the slip stitch, so remove that stitch marker. Go ahead and join. And for round four, we are going to make two single crochet in that first stitch. One and two. Okay, go ahead and replace that stitch marker. on the first stitch of your round and now in the next two stitches you are going to make one single crochet one one so the pattern for round three is two one one two one one and you'll repeat that all the way around All right, let me make sure I stayed on my pattern here. So I have two, one, one, two, one, one. Oops, yeah, I had a feeling I meant messed something up there, and that's okay. So it's really important at the end of each round just to count your stitches and make sure that you stayed on track because it's a lot easier to fix one round than to undo several rounds of work. So I have my two, one, one, two, one, one. So this should have been two right here. I tend to daydream a lot when I'm crocheting and lose track all the time of what I'm doing. Two and one. Two. One. One. My house is noisier than usual um, because my kids and husband are working from our home. My husband's working from home. My kids are home like many kids in the country are, so I hear them jumping off the couch, which they shouldn't be doing, but they've been very good overall. All right, so I'm almost done here. Two, all right, one, and then let me remove this stitch marker here. I'll make my last stitch, and then you're gonna replace your stitch marker on that last stitch that you make. All right, so 
All right, at the end of round four, yes, this is round four, I'm sorry. At the end of round four, you should have 24 stitches. Let's go ahead and count them. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Perfect, all right, go ahead and join with a slip stitch. Okay, and you can chain one and make two single crochet in that first stitch. One and two. Okay, you're gonna replace your stitch marker. So I just did two single crochet in that first stitch. Put my stitch marker back on. And now in the next three stitches, I'm going to make one single crochet. One, one, and one. So that's your pattern for round five. Two, one, 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 okay? So in this next stitch here, do an increase, it's two stitches, and then one, one, one. So on this last stitch here, let me remove that stitch marker. Make my last stitch. All right, and at the end of round five, you should have 30 stitches. Okay, replace that stitch marker on that last stitch there. Okay, go ahead and join with the slip stitch. Um, so for the end of round five, you'll have 30 stitches. We're going to join. Okay, now for round six, you're going to chain one. And you're going to make two single crochet in that first stitch. One, two. Go ahead and put your stitch marker on that first stitch you made. And now in the next four stitches, we are going to make one single crochet. One, two, three, and four. Okay, you're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around. You'll do an increase, two single crochet in one stitch, followed by four, um, one single crochet in four stitches. So there's two, and then one, two, three, and four. All right, remove your stitch marker to make your last stitch for the round. Round six, all right. And at the end of round six, you'll have 36 stitches. Replace that stitch marker. And again, I would take the time to count them. I'm not gonna do that for each round because I do count as I go. Um, I count my increase or my um, stitches between those increases. Uh, you can see where the increases are now, how they're starting to kind of point out a bit. Um, all right, so go ahead and join with the slip stitch. Okay, now for round seven. Chain one, two single crochet in that first stitch. 
place that stitch marker and then the next five stitches you'll make one single crochet one two three four and five okay so you'll make two single crochet in one stitch followed by five stitches with one single crochet one two three four five okay go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around Okay, at the end of round seven, you'll have 42 stitches for round six. After you join with that slip stitch, you're gonna chain one, and in that first stitch, you're going to make two single crochet. One, two, and now in the next six stitches, you're going to make one single crochet. I forgot to replace that stitch marker. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So that is your pattern for round eight. You do an increase followed by a single crochet in six stitches. Okay, increase one, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and repeat that for the remainder of the round. All right, at the end of round eight, you will have 48 stitches. We have two more rounds of increases to go. Okay, go ahead and join with the slip stitch. Okay, chain one, make two single crochet in that first stitch, replace the stitch marker. All right, and now in the next seven stitches, you will make 
one single crochet. And just as a reminder, this is round nine, okay? So I made two single crochet, and now in the next seven, I will make one single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, go ahead and repeat that pattern for the remainder of the round. Okay, at the end of round nine, you'll have 54 stitches. Go ahead and join with the slip stitch. Okay, chain one. You're gonna make two single crochet in that first stitch. And then you are going to make one single crochet in the next eight stitches. So there's my two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, that is your pattern for round 10. So two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and repeat that pattern for the remainder of round 10.
Okay, at the end of round 10, you are going to have 60 stitches. Go ahead and join with the slip stitch. We are now done with our increase rounds, which is the base of our basket. So now we're gonna make the sides. Join with the slip stitch. Okay, for round 11, we are going to chain one, and then we are going to single crochet once in each stitch all the way around in the back loops only. Doing that is what is going to cause this like line here that kind of sticks out, okay? You can see that? All right, so let me show you how to do that. So once in each stitch all the way around in the back loop only. The first one's gonna be kind of hard to do. Get your yarn hook in there. Okay, so that's my first stitch there. Okay, let me show you a few more here. Okay, my next stitch. Normally you would go like that through both loops. You're gonna go in the back loop only, just like that. So that's the front loop there, underneath your hook, and then your hook went under the back loop. And then you just single crochet like you normally do. Show you again. Insert your hook, just put your hook into the middle of the stitch and push it back. Pull that yarn through. Um, it's actually very simple. So you're gonna go ahead and do that all the way around, okay? One single crochet in each stitch in the back loop all the way around and I'll meet up with you at the end of round 10. Now remember, we're not doing any increases. So your stitch count at the end of round, or excuse me, at the end of round 11 should still be 60. All right, so now you're gonna go ahead and join with the slip stitch and you're gonna do that like you normally would in the, in the whole stitch. Oh, I have one more to do here. Okay, gonna join with the slip stitch and that is round 11, okay? All right, so now rounds 12 through 21 are all exactly the same. I'm gonna start round 12 and show you what to do and you'll be on your own to finish through round 21. It's very simple. For each round, you're gonna take your work, chain one, and then you're gonna single crochet the normal way in both loops once in each stitch all the way around. Okay, just like that. Very simple, one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, okay? So I just began row 12. So you're gonna go ahead and finish row 12 and then you're gonna do the exact same thing for rounds 13 through 21 and then I'll meet back up with you to show you how to make the handles. Okay, all right, so here I have my basket. I have, um, I've completed it through round 21, and I've actually already made one of the handles, so I'm gonna show you how to make the other handle and how to attach it, and then you're done. Super simple pattern. Okay, so now we're gonna still, we're still gonna be using that J six millimeter crochet hook, but you're gonna use your twine, okay? Now you're gonna make two of these. I've already made one, so you're gonna make a slip knot. <laughs> Go ahead and chain 18. Okay, just real quick. This is about how far down the side of the basket the handle will go. I think it's a good height, but you could always make yours longer or shorter. But I did 18, and now in the second chain for my hooks, I'm gonna skip that first chain, and then that second chain, I'm gonna make a single crochet. And then I'm going to single crochet in each of these remaining 16 chains, okay? Go ahead and do that.
Okay, go ahead and fasten off. All right, and now you're going to need a tapestry needle. So you already um, attached one strap to the basket here, you can see. So I'm gonna fold my basket in half like this and then just attach the other strap on the other side, on this side. I'll weave in all those ends after. And I'll do that off camera because nobody enjoys doing that and I don't even know if I'm gonna do it right away. Okay, so here we go. Go ahead and thread your twine onto your tapestry needle. And then I'm just attaching it um, right below that first stitch here because I don't wanna see the twine from the top. So I'm putting it right underneath there. And then because it looks kind of cute, like slightly at an angle, I'm going to um, attach this yarn end slightly angled down. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing over here. I'll have to use a scrap of yarn and I'll attach this side like that. So I'll grab a piece of yarn, or excuse me, a piece of twine. Thread it onto your tapestry needle. This will be a little harder because it's not attached to the actual crochet piece. So you'll just have to hold it in place. Okay. I'm going to, again, go through that, right underneath that top stitch. And you can't pull it all the way through because there's nothing holding it on this end. So fold that down and then thread your tapestry needle onto this end. And then send that through that stitch down to the inside. So both ends now of the twine will be on the inside and then you can just tie them off or you can get it through. You can just tie it off and then you're gonna wanna weave in all those ends. Just like that, it's super simple. So I love this basket. I wrote the pattern last week um, and I was really happy with how it turned out. I think these um, handles and twine just add a really cute look to it. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you do, hit that notification bell. I'm still trying to come out with tutorials every week. And I will have my blog linked in the description box below. If you like free crochet patterns, I have all sorts of patterns on my website. So go ahead and go check them out. Thank you.